hi everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel i am messy today we'll be learning how to sew this corset with a basket yoke last time we talked about the drafting and cutting so today it's going to be the sewing part if you're interested keep on watching so this is my material that i have cutted out the last time we cut it i've gone ahead and iron haste on it and here is the cup you can see the cup of iron or light wording on it you can see it i've also pinned the cup down so the way i'm going to sew it this uh, this is the way i'm going to sew it i'm trying to arrange it the way it's going to be you can see it this is the front so you place it like so bring your cup you bring your cup you can see my cup i've arranged it please make sure you arrange your cup very well know the, the right one that is going to be on the right place okay bring the small one and the big one join them together like this. so the place to pin is going to be the place you are going to run a stitch as you can see me holding it and the way i arrange the front is going to be the way i'm going to stitch it on my sewing machine join it together i'll go ahead and join it okay yes i'm going to join that centers and stitch the bra up as well so i've gone ahead and stitch it i've joined the pieces the front pieces together you can see the way it's looking the back is looking so beautiful here is the front you can see it and i've i've cut out uh, a door face as a bias to run it you can see it yes so i cut out one and they have uh, the wideness of the door face is one and a half as my bias and i've stitched it on it i've also inserted my bone in, in it okay so this is it and here is the cup you can see how beautiful our cup is looking so you remember i i iron a light wording on on my cup that i drafted so i've gone ahead and attached it on the ready-made bra cup you can see the inside i also um i also did the little that on the ready-made bra cup you can see it there and here is the front looking so beautiful so i stitch it i stitch the bra cup with the wording together you can see my black stitch so our ready-made bra cup is ready and here is the back remember i did that manipulation on the back you can see how beautiful the back is looking look at my zipper yes the center is my zipper and here is the yoke you can see our v neckline so the back is ready all right the back is ready it's looking beautiful beautiful when you did yours it's going to look like so very nice and this is the inside you can see the way the inside looks all right so the next thing for me to do is to attach our bra up on the front and come back and show you the next thing to do okay so this is the way i'm going to attach the bra up you can see me you can see the way i am arranging it so you bring the center of the bra up in it to the center of the front and arrange it and stitch it okay so here is the basket yoke remember we drafted this basket one one we will learn about the draft and why we are cutting it so this is how you are going to do it i use um two straps for this the main fabric and the door face that fabric is two two inches the wideness is two inches and the door face the wideness is one and a half so i bring the the ankara fabric with the door face and put it together place it on the line that i have drafted you can see the way i'm pinning it down you can see it i pin it straight okay just watch what i'm doing and you understand so i just want to give it another shade of color shade of looks that is why i i i use two material for this the main material and the door face material so look at the way i'm doing it placing it um vertically so the gap between this thing is one one inch all right it's one one inch so that is how i'm going to place it all through and run a stitch on it after that i'll come back and show you the next thing to do you can see the way i'm arranging it i'll use my pin to pin 
So I'll run a stitch on it and come back and show you the way it looks like. I'll arrange it all through. Vertically. So you can make yours one and a half inches gap. But mine is one inch. Okay. So this is the way I did it. I have run a stitch on it. And remember it's on top of this pattern paper. Okay. Remember I did not remove the pattern paper. I stitch on top of that pattern paper. And while you are sewing it. Please sew it gently. So that you will not tear your pattern paper. So the next thing for me to do is to place it like horizontally okay yes you see the way i'm arranging it put the ankara first and bring the door face and place on top then make use of my pin and pin it i'll keep on arranging it like so leaving about one inch gap you can see the way i'm doing it After arranging a pin, I will take it to my sewing machine and stitch it. See the way I'm doing it. It's it's very simple, guys. It's very simple. It's just a work that is just you come down and be doing. Remember to to sew it gently. So I've gone ahead and arranged this side of water. I will also arrange the other side as well. Pin it, take it to my sewing machine and stitch it. I'll stitch like so. Stitch the other side. Stitch the up and down. Stitch the up and down. Okay. I'll also stitch like so. So I will use a bias to, 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 to to like pipe the mouth, the front mouth, and also pipe the downside. All right. Remember, I did not add any seam allowance on this, so I'll pipe the mouth. Here comes our yoke. So this is the way I've done it. You can see it's looking beautiful. See the neck. The neck I've used a bias to pipe it. And here is the down part. I've also piped it. That is the place I'm going to. It will serve as an allowance for me to join with the corset. So everything is ready, guys. Here is the back. You can see how the back is looking. Looking so neat and beautiful. Okay. So it's not a more that you will pipe the armhole area. So I just decided to pipe it. Isn't it beautiful, guys? Isn't it beautiful? So I'm, I will go and attach it on the corset. So I've done attaching it on the corset. You can see it. Our bar, our front, sorry, is ready. You can see the paper is still on it. The paper is still on it. I've added my lining as well. So the front is ready. The next thing for me to do is to show you how to remove um, this paper. All right. I will be sprinkle water on this paper. You can see me doing it. I will sprinkle water. Do it gently so that you will not wet the whole material. Sprinkle water on it. Leave it like about two to three minutes for it to soak. Then, after that, you will start peeling it gently. Okay. Just sprinkle water, it will soak, it will be soft. After some minutes, start peeling it out. Yes, about two or three minutes. You begin to peel the pattern paper out. You can see me doing it. You see it. Begin to peel it out gently. You see? When you are done with the paper, after you might have removed the paper, take it to your sewing, uh, sorry, your ironing table and give it a hot press for the water to dry, all right? So just continue removing it. Just sprinkle water on it. Allow it to, to soften. Two to three minutes, you, you start removing the paper. So that is just all, guys. You can see the way I'm doing it. 
It's very simple and easy. That is why we are designers. You can see the, the, the basket is coming out. Look at the front. See the back, the way it looks. So guys, I'm done removing it. Here comes our basket yoke. Looking so beautiful. You can see it. I've also gone ahead and iron it. Look at the back. Look at the back. Looking so beautiful. So the next thing for me to do is to join the back and the front together. Then I will come back and show you guys the final look. I've also attached my reglan boning. Everything is all set. Okay. Everything is all set. You can see our corset standing perfectly well. So thank you guys for watching. Please, if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, share and comment. See you guys on the next tutorial. Bye for now.